guys, so today I wanted to bring you a review of the EOS Evolution of Smooth Lip Balm. Um, this is a product that I recently picked up. I've been using it, oh, it's not that recent, it's been about two months. Um, but I picked this up at Target and I wanted to film a review. Um, I heard so many good things about this on YouTube, on Twitter, all over social media, but I never really bought it because I have so many lip balms that I've never really found that I completely use or completely love or enjoy. And I did hear really great things about this, but you know, I never thought that I actually needed it. Um, but one of my friends, Dennis, he's my ballet buddy. We do our decages together. Um, but he had actually pulled this out and he was saying, oh my God, I love it. I would totally recommend it to you. It's amazing. And so then later that week, I was in Target and I just picked it up because it was like in that little shelf. Um, you know that little buy me shelf that's like right next to the checkout that's like, oh, it's only a dollar or it's only like five dollars. Um, and it's like put right there in front of your face. It's like buy me. So that basically happened and I decided to pick this up. And I was having actually really high expectations of this and I was kind of disappointed. Um, so I do just want to talk to you about my personal review and my personal opinion and what I think of this product and hopefully help you make a purchase that you're going to love or avoid one that you don't need. Also, do you like how it matches my nails? I totally did not mean to do this. I painted my nails this color for a camping trip, which by the time this video is posted, the camping trip will have already happened. But the camping trip is out in the boonies. Like, there's hardly cell phone reception. It is like a lake and some trees up like in there. And so this color is from OPI Sephora line, and it's called Lost Without My GPS. And I am pretty lost without my GPS phone, so I thought, ha, ah, so creative. Anyways, um, this is the EOS lip balm, and I got the flavor of summer fruit, and yes, I kept the packaging because I did know that I was going to be filming a review on this because I was expecting to rant and rave about it, but I'll tell you how I feel about it. No problem. Um, and I believe, I do want to say it was like 3 to $5. I could be wrong. I'm going to put exactly what I paid right here. I'm going to check my little Target receipt because it's somewhere in that pile of receipts that I have to go through. Um, but... Whatever this is right here is the price that I paid at Target, and it's the EOS Evolution of Smooth Lip Balm. And when I bought this, my expectations were that A, it's going to come in a really fun container, that B, it wasn't going to irritate my lips or my skin, and that C, it was going to be the most amazing, soothing, smoothing lip balm that I've ever used. It was going to last a really long time and really plump up my lips and make them really, really moist. So first I'll talk about the packaging. I absolutely love this packaging. The lip balm, it's like a twist top. It comes in like a little egg like this. It's just so cute. It's so fun. Um, I love throwing it in my purse. The only problem is that if you're trying to use it in a clutch or in a wallet. Um, if you compare this to a regular size lip balm, it is very, very difficult to carry. It doesn't fit in your pocket very well. It doesn't fit in a lot of places you could put in your pocket, but it's bulky. Um, so I do have to carry this in my purse, which is kind of frustrating, um, but overall it's a really, really fun design and it's something you can just like sit here and play with all day long. For me, since I usually carry purses, I don't put a lot of stuff in pockets. This was fine for me. I do enjoy it. Um, but for someone who does use lip glosses or lipsticks or lip products in their pockets, or if you do have a very small wallet or small clutch and go out a lot at night, um, that is something I would say look out for and be aware of. Next I want to talk about what it's made of. I will read the ingredients to you here, and I was actually very, very pleased with the ingredients. I have very, very sensitive skin on my lips, on my face, you name it, and I have had chapsticks that give me, not acne, but um, blackheads around my lips. The reason why is because like the beeswax or whatever is in there, it's not beeswax, but the chemicals in there like sit on my lips and cause these little blackheads to get clogged and then I have to extract them and my lips swell up and it's gross. Um, I've been using this collectively for about two months and I have not been noticing those blackheads. Um, so overall I'm very, very pleased. My lips are not irritated by it or anything like that. So um, also this isn't the smell of summer fruit. This honestly smells like chapstick. I'm sorry. A oh, high phone. I'm sorry, this do not smell like no summer fruits to me. It smells like chapstick in a chapstick tube. Even though it said summer fruit, I was really excited about that. It doesn't smell. I know they have a pomegranate one, and I think they have like another one too, but go figure. Um, so it says lip balm and summer fruit with shea butter and jojoba oil for happy, moist, super smooth lips. It's 100% natural and 95% organic, and you have your USDA organic seal. And when I am the, and a lot of times, even with the USDA organic seal, I read the back and I'm not so pleased. I was really, really, really pleased with this, which is why I got it and why I think that it has been working so well um, for the overall maintenance of my lips and not making them worse than they already are. 
So it says here that it is paraben and petroleum free. It is packed with antioxidant rich vitamin E, soothing shea butter, and jojoba oils. Um, the first ingredient is olive oil, which is amazing. Olive oil is an amazing, 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 amazing oil for your skin and for your body. I'm really happy that it's in here. Um, beeswax, which of course gives it that chapstick consistency. Um, it has coconut oil, it has jojoba seed oil, which is the one that your skin naturally makes or it mimics the oil that your skin naturally makes, which is sebum. It does have natural flavor, it has shea butter, it has leaf extract, it has sunflower seed oil, blueberry fruit extract, strawberry fruit extract, peach fruit extract, and lithanol, which I believe is a preservative. But it's made in the USA, it is gluten free. Um, for those who have gluten allergies, I've never had allergies in my entire life and we're going to do a video on tummy talk because I have seriously been having the worst stomach problems in the entire world and my doctor is telling me that I cannot eat anything. She is putting me on a regimen where I can eat no soy, no gluten, no dairy, no beef, no spicy, spicy foods, no acidic foods, and no super, super heavy or oily foods. I'm like, what the heck can I eat? Like, you're not giving me any options here because I've been having so many problems. I will seriously talk about this in another video, but we're doing all this so that we can slowly reintroduce foods and see what's causing issues. So I could be extremely, extremely, extremely gluten sensitive, which is causing all of these digestive and bowel problems. So for those of you who are gluten free, I, free, I hear your pain and I tell you that this is gluten free. So it is made in the USA and it is certified organic by Oregon Tilth and it is from New York. So I was really, really pleased about the ingredients. I was really, really happy. Um, when it actually comes to the formula, I was expecting this to be the smoothest of smooth lips I've ever felt in my entire life. Honestly, this chapstick did not hold up to those expectations for me. And I was kind of wondering if I got like an old one or a bum one because it's good for 36 months after it's opened, but it says it expires in 2016, so I was like, this shouldn't be a bad one. But I don't know if I got like a bad egg. Ha! Huh, get it? A bad egg? Um, because it just, it wasn't giving me the amazing, you know, the amazing results I was expecting. I was expecting super moisturized lips. And this pretty much is a regular chapstick to me. Even though it has all of these amazing ingredients, I don't feel like they penetrate a lot. Um, it does not last as long as regular chapstick, and I think that's because the olive oil does absorb, um, whereas most chapsticks are made with other synthetic chemicals that sit on top of your lips. This one actually does absorb in, which is a good thing, but I find that I have to reapply it a lot. Um, it does keep my lips from being dry. I don't have dry lips, but it doesn't super, super moisturize my lips either. I don't feel super soft afterwards. I don't feel, you know, like more so than before. I don't feel more moisturized than before by a lot. It's basically don't let your lips get really dry or peely in the sun or in the harsh wind or anything like that for me. So that was kind of disappointing. Um, I don't know if I got a good one. But that is how it worked for me. I definitely do believe that the olive oil is absorbing into my lips and into my skin. Some of those oils are and making it a little bit smoother. Um, but I have used this over time and it just hasn't happened for me yet. But then again, I have really weird skin so it could be that my lips just aren't accepting it well. But um, that is how it worked for me. If you've ever used this, please film a review and tell me what you think of it. Or post in the comments if you've noticed the same thing as I have. That it's not the most super moisturizing and that it doesn't smell that great. Um, or if you absolutely love it and it makes your lips feel amazing and if the other flavors smell better and if you actually love the fact that it's an egg as well because you can like throw it around and drop it on your floor. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps somebody who's thinking of making this purchase or not making this purchase. I hope that it helps you. And um, stay tuned for other videos, for tummy talk videos because I've seriously been in the most pain of my entire tummy life. So I love you guys. My upset tummy loves you. And my non-dry lips love you. So thank you again for watching and I cannot wait to talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.